Hello, it is Wednesday, August 21st, and you're here at the DEI Working Group for Chaos. I'm Elizabeth, the Chaos Community Manager. It's great to see everybody. We're back from our break. Woohoo! I hope everyone had a great little break there. I know I did. I am very sorry. It doesn't. Yeah. I have a dog too. We were banished from the office, and now they're still yeah, yelling. Mm. Okay, so anyway, let's go on. Pretend like I don't have chaos ha happening in my house right now. That'd be good. Uh, if you have not added your name to the uh, agenda and you'd like to, um, that'd be great. I will add my name here. My week has been very busy, but good. But good, yeah. I don't mind busy weeks. I kind of like them. Keeps me out of trouble, so. We have such a light agenda here. Um, please feel free to add things that have been on your mind for a while. And maybe we didn't have a chance to add them or talk about them prior, because uh, this is it. So I just wanted, the first thing is I wanted to bring this up. Um, I was supposed to email, uh, message everybody who had expressed interest, this group of people right here. I did not do that. So I'm bringing it up here. Um, the reason for this workshop is we are thinking we are um, wanting to help people get their DEI.MD files created, get those badges out there, um, just really help promote the, the badging, um, project badging, and, and also just helping people kind of move off zero for this. Um, not sure if it's kind of giving people a uh, pause because it is a lot of work and um, takes a lot of thought and a lot of community input. So. Um, yeah, so we had this idea to just do a workshop or a series of workshops to try to help people understand why and how and uh, all those good things um, to, to just get those badges in. So this group of people had already expressed interest. If there are others on this call that would like to be part of that, that would be great. We just need somebody really to kind of take this and run with it. And I figured if we didn't have anybody here today, I will take that. But I would really love for someone else to do that. <laughs> for someone else to. It'd be great. And these would just be Zoom workshops, is that right? Or yeah. in person? I think that's what we had envisioned. It could really be whatever we want it to be. We didn't really formally decide on anything. We had started some slides um, okay. down here. Yeah. So it can. it's really, you know, whatever we want. I'm thinking maybe like a Zoom workshop or two, and not like part one, part two, just the workshop a few times, just to help people get started. And then um, kind of in a different <clears throat> context, we're doing at Open Source Summit Europe, we're doing an unconference around something different. But I'm wondering, does like, um, does All Things Open have like a birds of a feather session or anything like that? It's a great question. I don't know the answer off the top of my head. If someone okay. else does or wants to go look at that real quick, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay, I'll take a look. But something okay. like, you know, just like a really lightweight, like no submission, just put your name on a board and um, just run these slides. It's like an hour or something like that, you know, not long. got a related question um so apart from like once we, we see that a project has completed the process and you know they appear in the table as a badge project is there any way of tracking projects that are interested or getting started just to kind of see where they are in the pipeline and if we can be of the support like if someone has that initial interest but we never see them get badged can we reach out to them to see if they want some additional support We could. We don't track anybody who has started. At least I don't think we have to. Um, outside of just like anecdotal conversations that we might have here. Um, but then, so I don't think we do the first part. But for the second part, yeah. I mean, and it's particularly if we have these workshops, that would be great. We could just say, hey, we have this thing coming up on Friday or whatever. Um, why don't you hop on? It's almost like a maybe the workshops are kind of like a newcomer hangout. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a really simple and we'll help you get started. 
Yeah, I really actually like that a lot. Um, and maybe we could even do them regularly, like once a month. I mean, it's an hour. It's not a big deal. Or, you know, two, if we wanted to do something more formal, just like we did for chaos, we used to do those onboarding calls that were an hour plus that we just kind of gave the information. It was very, um, it was very informational. And then, then we had the hangout as well. So um, I kind of like that actually, Matt, we could just put something on the calendar and then Maybe we just do that instead of like a, an official mm -hmm. workshop. Yeah. And then just take turns hosting it. Cause I think several people had expressed interest in doing that. So, um, just, just an idea, but could we also, do we do it in this meeting slot even like, like once every couple months have this meeting slot be dedicated to the DEI workshop and sort of build that in because there's already um a lot of things set up in place to bring into the table and then we could just advertise that we're doing the workshop that day and time maybe even split the meeting up have like if it's a small agenda that week have it tacked on at the end or something but yeah i like that and in fact we this is something we sort of do uh in our community call it's on a, it's on tuesdays but when we're preparing um chaos cons you know like when we're getting ready to do the chaos con we cut that meeting short by like 20 minutes or 30 minutes just so the chaos con planning committee just has a time when we know it works kind of for everybody and i think that's something we could certainly do here so just like 30 minutes on the whatever first wednesday of every month or something like that or whatever it might be <clears throat> I love that idea and I'm super happy to not have another meeting on my calendar so yes yes please that's great Daniel thank you for suggesting it yeah and it's less to organize it's less like workshoppy and it's more just <laughs> drop in um and anybody who sticks around if we don't have anybody that comes for the dei.md file we can just <laughs> talk about whatever <laughs> yeah I love that I love that. Okay, so I will um, uh, maybe do a blog, blog post or just a LinkedIn post kind of announcing that that's what we're doing. What do yeah. we think? That sounds good. And maybe just the first Wednesday of every month. Cool. Awesome. I will do that. Uh, Daniel, I have a question about your question um, regarding tracking. Do you have any thoughts on how we might do that? I'm not sure because, you know, people can just take the DEI.md file and, and, you know, our template and just fork it and use it. And so would we maybe keep track of who has forked that file or what, what how would we, how would we do that? That's definitely one option. Um... I was even thinking of like doing it with an issue, like if someone was, you know, created an issue just to get their project started, but it's hard if they're doing that privately. Um, or even on our own internal end, if we had a spreadsheet just of like the projects or a contact name of just, just a way of keeping in touch. Because I imagine a lot of projects that get started, you know, it, it's a long process. You need uh, input from your teams and then approvals and maybe they're hung up somewhere and then they get shelved for a while and if we just sort of nudge it along or reach out and say hey can we be of assistance or a gentle reminder we do these workshops uh just as a way to check in and see if that would move them along a little bit um just as something to try but i don't really have a set in stone of what's the best way to track it okay okay yeah. Does anyone else have any thoughts or ideas on how we might keep track of this group of folks? It's kind of tricky. Okay, well, think about it. And if you all have something that comes to mind, pop it in Slack and we can talk about how to, how to do that. Um, yeah, so maybe I will actually do a more of a blog post and and mention this that 
you know, we want to help you. So we have these workshops, but also open an issue and let us help you or something like that. Yeah, encourage or, or let us know if you're working on it and you've, you know, kind of come across issues. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. I love it. Thank you. Um, okay. Any other final comments, questions, conversation around this? Just one last update from GitLab's end here. Um, we do have a new open source program manager that we just onboarded. So I'm hoping that'll be a good way for us to connect with GitLab's open source projects on this. And then, um, you know, kind of, whether it's through the workshops or whatever, just try to assist those projects along and start in the DEI MD process. So it's taken us a while to get this uh, to, to this point, but I'm, I'm hopeful that we will start seeing some, some of those projects come in. Um, so it's definitely on our radar, just letting you know. Oh, that's awesome. Well, and then if, I, if I've if i done a blog post, then there's something also for them to kind of point to, just say, hey, go read this <laughs> and go go here if you need help. Um, yeah, and I, you know, it is, it is a huge change from, and a huge kind of shift in thinking for everybody in open source. So this is gonna take a really long time, I think, to, I mean, an event is one thing, but you know, projects are so, set in their patterns and the way things are <laughs> that anything that's a deviation from that or something new is going to take a little while for adoption so yeah i'm not entirely surprised that it's just been a slow process for a lot of folks and it's hard stuff you know it's not easy things it's hard stuff that you have to actually think about and be mindful of so yeah anything else we want to chat about with this Okay, cool. Um, event badging update. Adienka will be here next week. She said she'd be more than happy to provide just a quick update on how things are going, especially with regard to the new metrics that we added in, um, any feedback and things. So um, she'll be here next week. She wasn't sure if she would be able to make it today. So we just said, just do it next week. That'd be great. Um, next thing on here is a metrics update. I'm guessing this came from Matt. It's just me letting kind of all the working groups know that we're we approved to spend a little bit of money out of our either open collective or LFX account to have a person go through all of our metrics and update them to our new template. Um, so the content of the metrics won't change at all. Uh, the new template is really just about providing some top level information, which is like the title, the question that the metric is addressing and an overview of that metric. So each metric will really just only immediately show that information. And then we're gonna have a section, which is called, I think it's called wanna know more, which is what it's called right now. And you can click that and it'll tell you like how you might think about collecting data for the metric. It'll tell you, um, or show you some visualizations that people have used, uh, created for the metric, things like that. So it'll give you a little bit more information. Um, and right now we give it, we give all of that information in one just straight document. And we're just gonna hide some of that a little bit just to make them a little bit um, maybe more approachable or a little bit easier to read just right out of the gate. So that's it. Anybody have any questions on this? Matt, I don't think we have a time frame really. It's just gonna be when it, it's gonna be what it is when it is, right? Yeah, uh, well, so I think the hope, the hope was, I, I sent this out to just kind of get approval for the funds and that's a go now. And a couple of people had expressed interest in, in doing this. So I think it's, are reaching out to those folks and kind of getting this started. I mean, the hope would be is that sooner rather than later. <laughs> so maybe like in the next couple of months. I think so. Yeah, awesome. that'd be great. Yeah. It'll awesome. be nice to, do to give all of the metrics just an overall audit mm. structurally 
you know, out of the 90 or so that we have, I'd say that, you know, maybe five or six, some, some very small percentage are still on very old templates. And we do need to mark those and kind of get them all really consistent. Across. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, some of them I think still have like SQL statements in there, <laughs> like how to actually pull the data. So it's helpful, but you know, maybe a little. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, quick question for you. I know we also have a, a research student, I think, who is, or a student, PhD student maybe, who is um, trying to track down research, scientific research to support or relate that relates to the metrics, right? Is that right? Yeah, th that's right. And basically, I'm going to have um, Val work in the metrics uh, spreadsheet for now. Okay. And it references there because we have all of the metrics, you know what I mean, listed in that spreadsheet. And that spreadsheet is consistent with everything we have published. I've been through that before. Mm -hmm. And so Val will put the references here. And then once, I think the order would be once we're done with that other thing I was talking about, just kind of the new template, that we can go back and add these references. Okay. That, that was going to be my question is how would the timing of everything work and like not to overlap. Yep. So just yeah. hanging out in the, in the spreadsheet for the time being. Okay, cool. Awesome. I think that's super, super helpful. It'll be um, just to, yeah. Validate our, our thinking there. So great. Yep. We uh, don't, I should say, does anybody have questions for Matt or comments on that? Um, okay, we don't have anything else here. I will jump down here to reminders really quick. Some reminders, which you can remind yourselves, but we can also just mention them. CFPs, anytime we see a CFP, if you know of one, we'll put it in here. We usually try to do it this meeting and the community meeting, just to encourage folks to, um, you know, submit if they want. Um, we do have podcast ideas. We also have uh, Chaos Africa has been doing um, podcasts uh, hosted by Harmony. They're a little shorter. Um, I think we released in case I don't think we've talked about this. So let's just go with real quick. Um, there we go. <clears throat> uh, episodes. I think it just got released with the first one. It's um, yeah, right here. Victoria and Kingsley did uh, 20 minutes. So um, Harmony will be doing more of those is a series just kind of chatting with folks in the community and um, talking about their journeys in open source and things like that. So super interesting. You should all go listen. That would be great. Um, so if you have ideas, other ideas for podcasts, please email that. Um, we do have a comms team submission form, which may or may not work. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard mixed feelings and mixed reactions on this. So maybe it works. It's um, pinned in the general channel as well. If you have something like this um, that we want to tell everybody about, then just fill that out and the communications team will do our best to make that align with what you're thinking and when you want it to go out and things like that. Uh, we also have a nomination form for Chaotic of the Week, if you don't know, if you know somebody who's doing awesome stuff here and want to give them a shout out and have, have us highlight them for Chaotic of the Week, that'd be great. Um, education repo, we're still working on those videos and scripts and things. Um, Peculiar is so tenacious and so wonderful <laughs> to, to motivate people to contribute to that. So we appreciate you, Peculiar, for leading this up. And then finally, the code of conduct docs, um, they're still looking for feedback and probably will be for a little while, but um, you know, if you have feedback on these, they would really, really love your input um, just to make sure that everybody has seen it and that you've had a chance to do that. So yeah, that's it. That's it. What else, anything? Nothing. <clears throat> okay, last call. One once. I guess we're we're done. Have your have your time back. <laughs> have a great rest of your week, everybody. We'll see you next week. Okay. Take care, everybody. Take care. Thanks, all. Bye. Bye.